Hello and welcome to this new video series of Big Data and Hadoop. In this video series, we are going to talk about what is Big Data, what are the different flavors of Hadoop implementations, what are the different projects like Hive and Spark, Scala, um, Big and how to deal with these tools. We, we are gonna look at Hadoop implementations on Horton DataWorks and Cloudera to start with. We're gonna look at other Hadoop implementations too. So what is big data? Now, big data, as the name suggests, it is a huge data, something related to his data, right? So imagine a file which is one terabyte wide or big. For that one terabyte, if you have on your local laptop a storage capacity of 500 gigabytes, the one terabyte file cannot sit on 500 gigabytes of hard disk. So you're going to break that file and put it on two different nodes or two different laptops. If the file is even bigger, talk about uh, Internet of Things, talk about Facebook, talk about Twitter, talk about Google. In Google, for every minute, there are millions and millions of searches happening. In Facebook, just for the likes, the number of times people click on like, it's 50, 60,000 a minute. So imagine the massive data set these applications are generating every single minute, multiplied by days, hours, months, quarters, years, right? You can imagine how enormous that data set would be. So Google and you know Facebook, they had to come up with some innovative idea to implement this huge system which they already have implemented. So they turned and they invented the concept and implementation of big data. So Hadoop is a technology which implements the concept of big data. HDFS, also known as, I mean, the full form is Hadoop Distributed File System. As, as the name suggests, it is the concept, it is a method in which you manage huge data set and be faster. Let's take this example in which you have this relational RDBMS tables and you have 1 million records. I know 1 million records is not a big number, but just imagine that 1 million is the number of records in the table and you want to implement an HDFS kind of you know distributed system on top of it. So. So you have four nodes. Node means any laptop or any system, any processing area where data can be stored and processed. Imagine a cluster. Each node in the cluster can process and store data. Now imagine a very general evenly distributed system here 250 records would go into each node and in order to control that there would be a parent node known as named node in HDFS in Hadoop terms it is known as named node it is the server you have to imagine this is the like a 
manager of these named nodes and these nodes sorry these nodes are known as slave nodes slaves the name node manages slave nodes and this is so highly scalable if you add if you grow if your system grows you want to add multiple nodes to an existing architecture you can do it very easily now imagine this that in the current rdbms system you have a software or any application which talks to this database and a huge amount of data is being transmitted to the network the processing is fed here in big data in hadoop it's a bit different each node the processing happens from the map software so at each node the software goes and does its processing on the data so think about this here the data goes to the software the application but in this case the application the maps the software goes to the map records 50 and then it's returned so the mapping happens and the resultant data set this result is is given back to the client or or the you know the viewing application so this concept in which the software goes to the data does the processing is known as mapping map and then all the results in resulting data set is combined and sorted and you know reduced to show or display the results this concept is known as map reduce and it's a java based program as i mentioned earlier uh, it's a java based program which does all of this and shows the resulted result set to the to the user so here the bigger component the basic most granular level detail is the data does not go to the software the software goes to the data so different projects are being implemented on top of big data and the the most important tools or these projects are or the projects are being implemented are hive which gives you a capability to create a structure around data and use the sql kind of language pig is a scripting language where you can do the same data manipulation data processing using scripts impala arc and scala are other tools process data spark is an analytical engine we're going to talk about these in the market there are many implementations of big data and a packaged you know structure so cotton data works and cloud data are the most commonly used structures so in this video series we are going to talk about different tools the different interfaces of Horton data works and then we are going to see the same concepts in cloud data ultimately the concept or the target is to use the big data and hadoop and we are going to see the use cases you can implement in your organization why it is important and how you can make use of different tools and talk about internet of things talk about streaming analytics talk about um, in memory analytics cloud everything the base component the basic principle would be big data and this is for the future obviously big data is right now the one of the bigger technologies but it's it's going to be evolving making to a point that it's more matured and impl getting implemented at many places so we hope that this was very informative and in the other video series or the video sets to follow we'll talk about more technical 
on Horton Data Works and Claudia. Keep watching.